Good morning, students. In the last class, I was explaining you about a fiber to fabric lesson. All right. So, in order to recap what I explained from the beginning, Pehli and Boju were the two students. In their school, they got first prize in the science quiz. In order to understand this fiber to fabric, uh, this small story it is given. Okay, Pehli and Boju, they won the first prize in the science quiz. What they did, they got money from that. So they got excited and they discussed from the money what to, to do, what to do, what to do. As a result of that, they finally decided to buy some clothes to their parents. So uh, they went around and they entered to one shop. By seeing the wide varieties of class, they got wandered. And then, what they did, they questioned the uh, shopkeeper. And uh, he explained about the different types of fabrics. They got excited. And finally, they uh, bought a muffler to their father and cotton sari to mother. They came back, uh, they were able to distinguish different types of clothes they see around. And what the school bag is made up of, towels, curtain and so on. So now the comes the question is that, are there wide variety of fabrics are there? How it is possible? Now, by saying this, you are also able to understand the different types of fabrics uh, in and around you can able to identify. Right. So, there are two activities. Uh, they are given three activities we can see in the beginning. Go to the tailor shop. They collect some cut pieces and try to identify the different types of fabrics. And the second activity is that from the small piece of uh, cloth, take out the yarn that what yarn is made up of okay in order to understand that one take out yarn place it on the table hold it in the one hand one finger that is thumb under the forefinger with another hand thumb finger with your nail you scratch it just you observe the end of the yarn or thread what you will observe so it is separated into few thin strands same type of experience you will get when you try a thread to a needle. You might have experienced it. You are not able to do that one with the first step. All right. So what is the reason for this? When you look at the end of the thread, it is separated into few thin strands. These strands are nothing but fiber. This fibers are uh, used to make yarn. Yarn is in turn used to make fabric. Now come to this one. As I told you, there is wide variety in fabrics. They are made up of different types of fibers. Then where do these fibers come from? What are the different types of fibers? So you can get examples like this that is cotton, jute, silk, wool, etc. These are the examples for fibers. Now, cotton and jute are the fibers that are obtained from plants. What about wool, silk and all? They are obtained from animals. That is fleece of goat or hair of a rabbit, uh, camels, even of yak are used in order to obtain wool. Now, come to the next part of the lesson. Here, uh, these are nothing but uh, natural fibers. We can divide fibers into two types. They are natural fibers and synthetic fibers. So, as I had given you example, what and all? Jute, cotton, 
silk, wool, these are natural fibers. When you come to the synthetic fibers, see, uh, 100 years back and all, they, they used to depend on only these fibers that are natural fibers. From last 100 years and so, people started inventing fibers that are obtained from chemicals that are not obtained from plants or animals. They are called as synthetic fibers. Example for synthetic fibers, polyester, nylon, acrylic. Now come to the plant fibers. So when you come to the plant fibers, first comes cotton fibers. Have you visited a cotton field? How it will be? That too, uh, when it is ready to harvest. So it looks like a field covered with the snow, right? What is essential for this cotton? So in the cotton, cotton field, in order to go to the grow the cotton, warm climate and black soil is necessary. Now, have you observed the cotton fiber? Have you ever tried uh, making wicks to the oil lamp? Right? What they fill in the mattress? Similarly, pillows, this cotton wool is used. In order to so this cotton fiber, what you do, take out the cotton and try to pinch it off. You can see the thin strands. These are nothing but cotton fibers. Where do these cotton woolies come from? See, when cotton plant gives out the fruit, that is, uh, when it is at a mature stage, it gives a fruit that fruit after ripening it burst open so cotton comes out right you can see the picture this is separated by hand this cotton so obtained will include seeds also these seeds are separated by the process called as combing this is usually done by hand the process of separating seeds from the uh, cotton wool, it is called as ginning. Okay, the process of separating seeds of cotton is called as ginning of cotton. Ginning was traditionally done by hand. These days, machines are used for ginning. Now the next comes jute. Alright, here I don't have the picture of that one, jute. Uh, jute fiber is obtained from a, a jute plant. So this jute is grown especially in uh, West Bengal, Bihar and Assam that too it is harvested uh, and cultivated during the it is cultivated during the rainy season. The places as I told you West Bengal, Assam, Bihar where we get jute. The jute plant is normally harvested when it is at a flowering stage. What they do after harvesting, the stem of the jute plant is immersed in the water for few days. As a result of that, the stem gets rotten and the fibers are separated by hand. To make fabrics, all these fibers are first converted into yarns. How it is done? Okay, it is done in a different method. Now come to this one, the method of making yarn. First we will see uh, spinning of cotton hair. Take out cotton wool, okay, pinch it from both the hands with using your uh, uh, four, uh, forefinger and the thumb as it is shown in the figure, okay, 
and gradually you twist and pull it apart. While continuously twisting the fibers, you will be able to get air. Okay? This process is nothing but spinning. The process of making yarn from fibers is called as spinning. Fiber from the moss of cotton wool are drawn out and tested. This brings the fibers together to obtain air. There are the various devices which we can use in order to obtain air. The one simple device is hand spindle. In other words, it is also called as thackling. Okay, and you might have seen the picture of Charaka. Alright, this is another hand operated device called as Charaka, introduced and popularized by Mahatma Gandhi during our independence. He encouraged the people to wear the clothes made out of homespun arm, termed as Kodi, and Shun imported clothes that were made in uh, Britain mills. To popularize and promote Khadi, Government of India constituted a body in the year 1956. It is called as Khadi and Village Industries Commission. Khadi and Village Industries Commission. It was constituted by the Government of India in order to promote Swadeshi or the Indian uh, home made spuns. Okay, spinning of arm on a large scale is done with the help of spinning machine. After spinning yarns are obtained, it is used to convert it into fabrics. So once the yarn is obtained, it is possible to convert it into a required fabric. So how to convert the fabric into, sorry, how to convert yarn into fabric? There are the two main methods we will see that in the next part of the class. I hope you followed what I explained.